Hey, welcome back. Well, Sam and I are really lucky today because we've got this 2011 Ford 350 Super Duty. What a truck. Absolutely. Now, you know, I'm a Chevy guy. I drive a Duramax 3500 Dually, but this is a 2011, and it's awesome. Look at the chrome on this thing. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous, but look under the hood. That's what's yeah. impressive. Got the new big Ford motor, the Power Stroke. It's turbocharged, intercooled. This thing does everything you want it to do. And, of course, right out of the box, got real pretty black metallic paint on it and a gorgeous, massive grill. Looks like a big truck. It does. And, you know, I like this grill. I, I think the truck is absolutely beautiful. But every truck owner, when they get a new truck, they like to personalize it, make it their own. And there's a couple of things on this that bother me I, that I think could be better. And one is this nice open space down here. I know what it's for. But it looks like it needs something else. Absolutely. You look at the chrome here, then you got the chrome tow hooks and everything. Wouldn't it be nice to have something to insert here and fill up the front? We called our friends at T-Rex. You know, they make high quality billet grills. They sent us some pieces. We got a billet grill set up. Let me have that knock one. your eyes out. And I'll tell you what, the interesting thing is look at it's that. so easy to install. Look at that. Boy, does that look I mean that is gorgeous. I that's gonna look sharp. Easy to install. First thing we need to do is We've got four six millimeter screws up here. We've got some clips in the bottom. We'll pull the grill out and we'll show you how to install it. Doesn't this. take any time at all. Uh, I got this one here coming up, bud. All right. You know, I need that quarter inch drive air ratchet. That's what we need. All right. All right, bud. You ready to take yeah. this out? Absolutely. It doesn't weigh much, does it? No. Well, it's plastic, but it's nice. Boy, I'll tell you what. Now, here's what the grill looks like out. And you can see right here, we need something to brighten this up. Here's our first piece. You got it? Yep. It's trimmed on the edges, slides right in there like that. Oh. And you can tell, when we get this all done, it's going to look great. <laughs> that right? is going to look fantastic. Let's turn it around, Sam. Yeah. We'll show you how easy this attaches. Here, let me take this out so it don't fall I out. Got it. I got, got my it? finger. Yeah, okay. sure. There we go. Great. Now, all we have to do, take these little brackets. Put on there just like so. Right. And then you put a retaining nut. Now remember, the stock grill is chrome plastic or black plastic, so you don't want to over-tighten it. Yeah, it's not really big stuff, so uh, here you go. You're going to need to suck here. Hey, what you want to do is you want to put those all in there finger tight as you're fitting everything. Right. So you can make any adjustments, and then when you do, then you just snug them up. And by the way, before you put this on, take a picture of your grill before and then after, then send it in to T-Rex. They'll put it on their website. Pretty good idea. All right, let's go ahead and fit the rest of these in. All right, you got that on there? Yeah. Where's, oh, let me put this one on. Now we're ready to install our bottom grill. Now, if you notice, it comes with a bracket, and there's a little notch here in this bracket. That fits right here like so on the back. So what we'll do is we'll put these in. They'll bolt in right here on the bottom, and we'll just put them at an angle, and then we set the grill in there, and then Sam can just turn those brackets right around into it, and we'll be in business. No drilling goes right in the original clips. Get it in? Uh, almost. There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Slide this in. And raise her up. Now, just make sure we get it centered so it looks right. That's pretty good there, Sam. Now that you've got your grill all installed and bolted up, check your hood clearance because it comes right up against this nice little lip. Want to make sure it's good. Hey, perfect. Are we look perfect or what? As usual. <laughs> Except for... I have fingerprints all over this thing. Look at this T-Rex grill assembly. This is awesome. I'll tell you, it is absolutely beautiful.